So we built an incredibly powerful GPU accelerated AI brain. Right now, it's just sitting in the cloud thinking world changing thoughts, or maybe just thinking about zoo animals. It's basically the world's most expensive pet rock. Today, we're going to teach it how to talk so we can finally start earning its keep. Welcome back. In the last video, we deployed a dedicated GPU powered open LLM on Cloud Run, and we used Gemma for this. So now we have our powerful brain, and it's just waiting there for instructions. Today, we're going to build the agent itself. We'll use the Agent Development Kit, or ADK for short, to create a conversational logic needed to facilitate a thread with a user. Then we'll deploy it as a second separate Cloud Run service that talks to our Gemma model. So remember, we want to decouple our LLM brain from our agent so we can scale and build it independently. Let's jump into the code. We're in the ADK agent directory now, and the most important file here is the agent.py file. This is surprisingly simple. We import agent from the ADK library, but the real magic is in the model parameter. We're using Light LLM, which is a fantastic library for connecting to hundreds of different model APIs with a unified interface. Look at this string. One line tells ADK everything it needs to know. Hey, you'll be a talking to an Olama compatible API using a chat interface, and the model you should ask for is Gemma 3270M. If you deploy a different model, you just change the string. The rest is just a standard prompt. We're telling our agent that it's a friendly zoo tour guide named Gem, from Gemini to Gemma to Gem. Just like our model, the agent needs to also be deployed. We have a separate Docker file for it that installs our Python dependencies. But the most important part is the deployment command. Notice the differences here. For production ADK agent, we're asking for much less memory and CPU, and critically, no GPU. This service is just managing session state, handling web requests, and routing them. It's, it's very lightweight. But let's take a look at the environment variables. The Olama API base variable is super important. We're passing the URL of our Gemma service directly to our agent service. When the agent calls Light LLM, it will use this URL to send the request to our GPU backend. This is how the two services talk to each other. OK, the agent is deployed. Let's grab its URL and open it in a browser. And there it is, the ADK's built-in web UI. Let's test our zoo guide. I'll ask, what do red pandas typically eat in the wild? Awesome, it works. A user sends a message to our agent service, the agent service forwards it to our GPU service, and Gemma generates a response and finally sends it all right back to the user. Let's try one more. Why are poison dart frogs so brightly colored? Great, we now have a working production style AI agent but is it really production ready? What happens when we go from one user to a thousand? In our next video, we'll simulate a massive traffic spike and watch our system automatically scale to handle load. Bye for now.